Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Eve Echoes. Tonight on the show, we're continuing with our series of tutorials to help you guys set up for when the game launches. Now uh, remember, when the game launches, there will be no X20 boosts, and you won't be getting any of those juicy esque rewards from um, from doing NPC um, PVE. Uh, basically, right now, you are getting for example from a rat that would normally give a 90 uh, 90k isk you are now getting 1.8 million yeah that's 20 times normal reward so i'm going to teach you um of course we've already talked about hauling and how you can make money afk uh, actually offline uh, we're gonna talk today about yet another method um that I should have probably made a tutorial for a long time ago. Another way to do offline isk, offline money. Uh, and basically, either get rich, but the amount will not be sufficient to, to uh, provide for that amazing boost and get you that juicy plex uh, to, to transfer from alpha to omega, but it will uh, help you sustain your own economy if you decide to run uh, solo. Although I would not recommend going solo in this game, uh, there's plenty of corporations, there's plenty of um, of people and uh, alliances recruiting people. Uh, you might just as well um, embark yourself on a journey into a low sec or null sec with a group of people and uh, try to make that piece of space your own. So we're gonna talk today about planetary interaction which is uh, pretty out of the box it's uh, very intuitive and is uh, it's pretty easy to uh, to set up your own planetary uh, mining um, uh, complexes let's call them that uh, it, compared to evil line um, this is much more simple in evil line you have to set up on multiple planets of course same as here but uh, there's multiple tiers of planetary resources uh, some of them are raw uh, while for the most um, let's say most expensive ones uh, the ones that are required for tech to uh, building manufacturing uh, you need to set up uh, alongside the miners that extract from uh, the planet itself you need to set up like some laboratories and some uh, refineries and some production plants on those planets and you need to uh, be active enough to collect stuff from one planet and put them uh, on another planet to start a reaction combining two or three uh, components to form something of a higher grade. Now in Eve Echoes things are uh, way more simpler than that. Why? Because planetary interaction, uh, here it's called planetary production, just relies on the basic of materials. For example, we're looking at this system. We've just entered from the main menu which is uh, located right here and it's uh, in the planetary production. And we're looking at the planets in this system. In order to look at a planet in a certain system, you need to be in that specific system. Uh, but you can uh, switch when you're trying to manage your planetary stuff. You can switch between the systems you've settled on. You don't need to be in those systems. Remember that. So it just takes um, uh, the one trip to set up for the planet to be in that system. But afterwards, you can just manage them remotely. Uh, you need to remember to collect the stuff, otherwise when the um, when the miner has has reached full capacity, uh, the mining operation will stop and, um, well, you won't be generating any more um, minerals or materials or planetary resources. Okay, so um, each planet has some specific, uh, they're randomized, I didn't find a pattern, maybe there is a pattern, please leave a comment below if you find if you found a pattern uh, corresponding to some planets having some specific kind of resources, uh, but that's uh, that's how it how it's like in Eve Online. Some specific planets, uh, like barren type or lava type or ocean type, have some specific resource type that you can um, mine from there. But here they're all randomized, and there's some uh, uh, interesting and useful links on Reddit or the Eve Echoes uh, Wikipedia that you can use that to to check and see 
what kind of planets you need to um, uh, to set all your mining operation on. So, for example, right here, in the first planet has reactive gas and suspended plasma. Second has base metals and lustering alloy, motley compound, heavy metals. Uh, the fourth planet has condensed alloy, base metals, heavy water, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's, this, this system has a lot of planets. But there's no lustering uh, alloy, not no lustering um, sheen compound. Uh, if I believe, if you want to be efficient and you want your materials to count the most, uh, you should take a look at the industry or at least uh, visit some tutorial on Wikipedia uh, regarding what kind of materials are mostly used in ship construction because those are going to be the most expensive and the most uh, searched by by the builders. Uh, just to put an example, we're gonna hit in industry, and we're gonna um, hit this. Uh, let's say, let's take a look at the uh, warrior. So on the warrior, the planetary is sheen compound, uh, condensed alloy, and opulent compound. Uh, these are the most hard to find, at least in Empire Space, from what I've explored so far. So you need to find some planets with uh, at least some of those specific. Um, mining options to be available. Let's get back into the planetary. Uh, so, uh, if you want to uh, to place some stuff, you need to have some skills uh, in order to to set up as many mining operations as possible. Uh, I wouldn't recommend investing too much into planetary if you're going into military, but they're a good source of income. So let's head over to skills. And right in the uh, right uh, right side of the screen, you have the um, industrial technology and uh, mining. No, it's not in mining. I thought it was here. Applied sciences. No. Social science. No. Okay, here it is. So it's in natural science, and the tab is called planet management. I think it was put into another tab in a previous beta. Maybe I'm just uh, not remember it correctly. Um, so we've have planet uh, planetology in level three. Uh, you get planetology level three by default if you complete the advanced tutorial. Remember that it it can help you um, pretty much. And I've, we've talked about in a previous episode. So planetology, basic knowledge of planetary interaction, master it to increase planetary interaction efficiency, planetary production launch time uh, thirty percent increase. Max mining array plus two for level three and planet yields cargo hold plus one hundred percent. If let's train this to level five and let's uh, just uh, complete this. Thank you. Now, if we go over to the planetology, we see an increase for two hundred percent in plant yields cargo, hold, meaning you have more space um, to just mine and leave it offline until you decide to go and collect it. Uh, max development planets plus one, you get an extra planet, and um, four mining arrays. Now, if we go into the advanced, you'll see that for level five, you'll get... Actually, you can visit this button, and it'll, and it'll show you for each level how much boost you get. So we get another planet uh, for level two, and uh, another planet for level three, and two more planets for level four, and two more planets for level five. And with the um, expert, you just gain a shitload of planets as well, plus mining arrays and planetary uh, cargo hold space. That's a lot of space. So you can basically just leave them, uh, leave them idle for, I think, like a week or so. And just don't bother with collecting them. Just be sure to have an industrial ship to go and grab everything and uh, either bring them into a station and uh, regional delivery them to uh, to uh, the uh, nearest um, ITC or just hold them, hold them yourself to the nearest ITC and uh, you can check for the prices and you can basically just uh, decide uh, where you want and you can even set up a contract for your fellow haulers uh, to carry it either to Jita or whatever you want to sell them for maximum price and um, and if, if you're in a corporation, remember, you can mine this and trade them to the builders in your alliance or corporation, and they can build instead ships, modules, uh, drones, whatever, and they can give you back uh, like a lot of stuff. But mostly in corporation and alliances, everything that comes into the corporation is usually spread around 
uh, to its members because all the stuff gets put in the corporation hangar or alliance hangar and uh, it's up for grabs for anybody of course please don't abuse them because the audit uh, should maintain a, uh, a <laughs> let's say a notebook of uh, what you take and if uh, people see you abuse it uh, abuse that they'll probably uh, remove your roles so that's um, that's pretty much it on how uh, to invest in skills. I wouldn't recommend going into level five if you're not into uh, industry, but level four should give you plenty of uh, of ISK generation uh, to uh, to help you in your journey, of course. So let's head over to the planets themselves and see how we set up a planetary mining facilities. Let's set up on this one. So we place a development array. Before we set up, um, well, whoops. <laughs> I wanted to, uh, to to show you guys another thing. Uh, you can check in the uh, description on the right side. As you can see, the motley compound here uh, is rich, meaning you will get more yield. Uh, you will get more resources per minute of mining or per second. I don't know the ticks exactly. We'll see it in a minute. Um, or a, in in this case condensed alloy which is perfect so let's place a development array here uh, now we're gonna we're gonna mine this uh let's see uh in evil line you basically had to scan around for resources here you don't need to so you can basically just we got six available mining arrays uh thanks to our skills uh so we can put six in total not on this planet six in total on all planets uh, so let's just put three here and let's confirm and now this baby is going to mine our stuff now continuous mining is in progress and it will run for two hours and 30 minutes remember to check on the planetary production menu here and uh, swap between your planets as you can see uh, the planets that I've settled on will always appear here in the top left corner um, and every time um, you need to check here because this uh, continuous mining will uh, go away and when that happens the mining will stop so it requires a bit of interaction but you will most likely enter and log in the game um, pretty much a lot but alas you don't need to uh, to do anything else except click this button and this will increase to 24 hours we'll reset the counter and I'll just uh, keep on mining. Uh, now, there's no inventory here. Once the inventory uh, will start to fill up, you can... Oh, there it is. We've just generated one uh, one quantity. <laughs> one, one piece of a condensed alloy. So, in order to collect it, you just have to click uh, launch. Now, of course, uh, you can see that... Uh, the planets being in the top left corner it shows you all the planets that you have settled on regardless if you're in the same system or not so this helps you when you select between planets and you want to reach that destination so you don't have to remember all the planets that you've settled on you just click on the planet set destination and uh, you can be on your way to go and collect them now with mining settings if you want to uh, change or modify how the uh, mining setup on a planet looks like this is a menu you want to be in and you can basically just add more or just reduce here uh, let's increase to six we can confirm it costs nothing to set up the mining operations on any planet uh, which is uh, kind of neat uh, hopefully that will not change let's check our wallet so wallet uh, payment collateral yep no money taken from your wallet uh, when you set up your mining operations. In EVE Online, that would be a different story. Whenever you try to set up something or you try to place a factory to combine materials, uh, they cost. They cost. Every, every factory or every miner costs uh, to uh, set up on the planet. Plus, the, um, the planetary module that you need to have in a cargo hold to settle on one planet you need actually to be in orbit to drop that on the planet and that will transform itself into a base that's none of uh, there's none of it here it's i told you this is way much simpler and uh, a good way to generate uh, offline currency 
Now let's uh, let's uh, forgot to click on launch. Let's head over to the uh, launch site. So we're gonna launch. Uh, come on, launch this. Okay, and we should have set destination. Okay, we're already at the destination. Uh, let's uh, set our autopilot. So what happens is once you have uh, clicked on launch, a planetary uh, cargo will be jettisoned, for, uh, actually launched from from the planet into space, and uh, Warp drive you, active. Will, um, you can go and collect it. Uh, <laughs> one thing that I would like to add, I don't know if uh, if it's uh, if it's viable or not, um, but I think somebody else can collect your stuff. Uh, Although that might come into conflict with the fact that uh, you cannot uh, do piracy acts in Empire space, meaning you'll probably not be able to um, to loot the containers. But that will not apply into Losec or Nulsec. And uh, if uh, if people tend to just launch them and then travel to that uh, specific location. Some other people might just come and take them for their own uh, means and purposes. So we are at the cargo container. It's a planetary uh, container. Let's loot all. And that's that. That was pretty easy. And now we have five copies of condensed alloy in our cargo hold, which can be used for manufacturing, of course. Now, as I mentioned, you can either trade them to your corp mates and have them build stuff or you can sell them on the market for you or if you are into industry you can use these to build your own crap that's pretty much it from planetary interactions um what can i say it's going to be a uh, viable solution in making offline money alongside the hauling. I've already talked about in the comments on some of my videos uh, trying to explain uh, how you can actually benefit the most from uh, planetary and, uh, of course, um, hauling. You can have a hauler, you can uh, have this planetary run for uh, quite some time and then use a hauler to go and grab them. Um, and then on your way to the ITC if you want like to uh, if you're settled uh, near an ITC which is not Jita of course Jita is a trading uh, major trading hub so if you're near an ITC you can uh, just head over uh, by detour to that ITC and co collect some of those juicy hauling contracts and then travel uh, to Jita with a hauling contract and with your own planetary and just uh, don't don't waste those uh, those precious cubic meters that you have and represent your cargo hold you can uh, you can fill that up with uh, various stuff and you can maximize the profit uh, with having your uh, your cargo filled uh, with stuff that generate you money thank you guys for watching uh, big shout out to my channel supporters I guess I'll see you next time Cheers.